Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for oh. People Living with Dementia. Oh, we are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. Some of these programs are recorded and some are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. Find us on YouTube by typing in Dementia Friendly Fort Worth, click on our logo and choose videos. I am Martha Brown, your host for today's activities. Today, it is our pleasure to bring back Gail Snyder, who is our great chef for Cook Conversations. Gail says she's going to be giving us information that we don't have about what she's going to bake today. Gail, I'm turning it all over to you. Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited to be with everybody today. And I think we have some people who have never been to Cookie Conversations before. So I'm so excited. So I um, have our recipe ready. So I'm gonna share my screen so you can see what we are doing. Oh boy, here comes Dusty. Dusty, all right. Good morning, Dusty. Ooh. <laughs> oh Welcome my goodness. French okay, macaroons. So, so do you see the uh, picture of all the ingredients? Yes. Yeah. So last summer, some of you may remember that um, I changed <coughs> up some of our recipes and used almond flour. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This recipe calls for almond flour. Okay. You can't right. use regular flour for this recipe. Has anybody ever tried to make uh, macarons before? No. I, I have made not. coconut. Okay, well, this is a little different. They call these a macaron, not a macaroon. Mm -hmm. Are these the little sandwich looking things? Yes. Oh, those look so, hard to make. Oh, those little ones that you get in France. Yes. Well, it's and French costco. macarons. Yeah. So here is our. Ooh, Gail, you are brave. You are brave. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I was in the kitchen all night last night testing the recipe and okay. making preparations. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to stop my screen share so that you all can see what's going on in the kitchen. And I've already pre-measured and sifted all of the ingredients to make this go faster. So we oh, are right. using almond flour. So this is the almond flour. Hello, Tia. So I've already sifted the almond flour. I've sifted the powdered sugar or the confectioner sugar Gail. and the special dark chocolate cocoa that we're going to use. Oh, yeah. Gail knew this was going Hello. to be labor intensive. You're smart. <laughs> Hello, Janine. Hello, Dusty. Hi, Janine. Wow. Hi, Dusty. Hi, Tia. Granulated sugar. Cream of tartar. And vanilla. Are you using that wonderful vanilla paste today? Yes, an egg white. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start by putting the egg whites into the mixer because we've got to get those started to um, be to get stiff while we get the other stuff mixed together. Now, can I ask you a question, Gail? Sure. It, it said your egg whites had to be aged overnight. What do you yes, mean by that? Yes, I'm going to explain that? that in just a second. Okay. All right. And one thing that we have discovered that's interesting is when Gail turns on the mixer, we can't hear the mixer because it's a certain uh, hertz. But I can hear it and I can hardly hear you all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do sign language. <laughs> okay, can you all see from, you can't hardly see from the mixer, but they're starting to foam up. So in mm -hmm. just a minute, I'm gonna add the sugar. But aged egg whites, and I had never heard this before, is egg whites that you've separated from the yolks 
and refrigerate it. And you're supposed to refrigerate it for 24 hours after you separate them. It helps relax the proteins in the egg whites. Wow. Okay. Never heard about it. Never heard that. Before. Thank you for asking, Yetta. Yes. <clears throat> a very great question. Okay. So now I'm going to continue to beat the egg whites and I'm going to add the granulated sugar to that. <clears throat> and this recipe is in ounces and grams. So I had to get out my trusty little scale sure. um, to do the measurements for this recipe. So we're going to add this sugar to the egg whites. In the factory, we always put the bowl in the freezer to get it cold when before we mix the egg whites. That's smart, Dusty. Dusty's a baker. And he's spent a lot of his time doing recipes. Next, I'm going to take all of the dry ingredients and mix them together in one bowl. Tia, I think I hit the mute on you if you want to unmute yourself. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. And if you notice, everything in her kitchen that she can make red is red. And Gail probably can't hear this right now, but Mary Mulholland says that Mary has a kitchen full of red appliances too. Mm. Okay, so can you all see what's happening in the mixer? The volume's yes. increasing. Mm -hmm. So they're starting to get stiff, but we want them so stiff that all the egg whites are clustering inside the beater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, cream of tartar, and then we're going to finish beating these until they're okay. sticking inside the beater. This is then I'm going to continue to mix these dry ingredients together so that they will be well incorporated to mix <laughs> evenly into the egg whites. Gail was really brave to do this recipe. I got well, every confidence. A couple of weeks ago, um, we stopped at Central Market and my son loves all things bakery. And so he picked out, uh, I believe it was a pumpkin cupcake. And then he saw the macaroons in the shelf. And so he picked up a couple of macaroons and he shared them with me. And that was what gave me the inspiration to try the chocolate macaroons because it was absolutely delightful. Tell me. Tell your son, now, thank you. You can see I have this all mixed together. Mm -hmm. This is the uh -huh. almond flour, the cocoa and the powdered sugar. Oh, here's Nancy if, and there's Kristen. If any of you- Hello, can you is, hear us? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, Costco has macarons. Uh, hello. We're on our way to Arkansas. Oh. 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 We were well, wondering. We can't really you hear you guys, us. though. But we thought we'd at least sign in and say hello. 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 Kristen, well, we were all saying, her. where's Nancy? Mommy. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You're making cookies? What kind? Yes, we are. We're making uh, French chocolate macaroons. Ooh, that sounds great. I want to get. I want to make sure. Make sure get the recipe. we have today. Yes. Awesome. Nancy says she wants to be sure she gets the recipe. Okay, so I'm going to check on those egg whites again. Nancy, I hope you have a safe trip. Thank you. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, those are pretty stiff. Gonna give it just another couple minutes. You you can buy all these macarons in Costco as well in different flavors. Oh, but they're not as good as Gail's. The, the ones that are different good. colors are they also different flavors? They're also different flavors, yes. So I is the orange one orange flavored? 
no, the orange one, I th yeah, and then the green one should be pe uh, pecan, not pecan, uh, pistachio flavored. Summer Hill. But no so, matter what color yours are, Gail, we like them the best. Absolutely. Yes, that's right. So when I, when I did my preparation and watched a video about this, the person who did the video said she always tends to underbeat. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm not underbeating. So now to make this easier, I'm going to transfer the egg whites to a, a low bowl. So it'll be easier to incorporate this because this is the complicated, one of the complicated parts of the recipe. And this is going to be a little bit noisy while I try to get this out of here. What she is doing is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> How many of you have ever done anything with stiff beaten egg whites? I've eaten, I have. eaten lots of them, but yeah, never I made any. Yeah, I understand. Well, she's a brave woman to do this, and we're going to yeah. be so grateful. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, so now we have the egg whites in the bowl. I'm sorry. What did you say, Tia? I said yesterday, Gail was telling us what she was making, and I thought she was going to make just the typical coconut macaroons. I didn't know they were the French, however you pronounce the macarons or whatever they call them. This is very fancy. It is. Okay, so now I'm going to put part of these dry ingredients into the outer edge of the bowl to start to incorporate this, but we don't want to put it all in at the same time. And then we're going to take the spatula and kind of go like a washing machine to incorporate it. It takes lots of stirring, gentle stirring, because you don't want to <coughs> completely deflate the egg whites. Did that and then sometimes you're going to cut through the middle of it. Did that instruction come with the recipe? Yes. Ah. Did I never call it folding. Basically folding, yes. I've never heard of putting the egg whites in a smaller bowl to do that. That's a surprise. Well, last night I tried to do it in this big one. Uh -huh. And I felt like I was uh, in an yeah. awkward position oh. the whole time because I put it. Okay. Really get to it. So see, it's starting to starting to incorporate. So now I'm going to add some more of my dry ingredients. We're already saying thank you in our heads. I hope you know that. <laughs> we already in the bowl. We already drew it. So yes, Yetta, that's correct. I'm so glad somebody in this world likes baking. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so again, I'm just continuing to cut through this and gently fold to incorporate all of that chocolate and all of that almond flour and the powdered sugar. So this is the cookie part, right? Not the... Uh... This is the cookie part, yes. Okay, got gotcha. you. And it will melt in your mouth, correct? A bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, egg whites and powdered sugar. I can just feel it crunching right down. Mm. <clears throat> We're grateful to have Gail, who, who normally is so busy. <laughs> it's hard for her to come up for air. So to have her to be on with us for two sessions is, is a miracle. Well, this is a nice treat for me. Good. Okay, so now you can see it's becoming more chocolatey, mm -hmm. but it's still pretty thick. So we want to get it incorporated enough that whenever I hold the spatula up, it makes a ribbon across what's in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And they described it as kind of making a figure eight with the batter. Mm hmm. I bet you're getting some uh, oh, physical workout with that too. Uh, the muscles in my arms are feeling it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so see, it's a little too thick because it's not quite making that ribbon yet. It's interesting that the more that you move it, it gets thinner. Mm -hmm. But that's because it's taking the air out, taking a little bit of the air out of the egg whites. 
but to me, it kind of has the texture of a brownie mix. Mm -hmm. What it looks like. So if you see. Oh, yes. And it looks a little grainy, but it doesn't taste grainy once it bakes. I can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> so you've already tasted a done one, huh? I did. Mm. No fair. <laughs> well, you know, the baker has first prerogative because you got to make sure it's right before you send it out. Yes. Okay. Mary, so if, you'll, if you'll notice, Gail, Gail's apron has cherries on it. Yeah. Yes. I, I interrupted you, Gail. I'm sorry. That's okay. So we're almost, see, it's at that ribbon stage. Can you see that? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, just give me a spoonful. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to set that aside. I have my baking sheet um, with my parchment paper. And now we are going to pipe the batter onto the um, baking sheet. So I have some that I've already prepped in the baking bag. Wow. And you're gonna pretend that you're making great big chocolate chips. Oh. And you wanna hold your uh, tube directly above where you're going to squeeze it. And let me see if I can move my other camera. Well, you're fine. I like we you can are. see we, we can, can see, see what you're doing. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Don't need to move yeah. anything. I have a question for Yetta. Yeah. Growing up in Europe, did you eat these kinds of little cookies? No, not those. They were the typical French. Right. I didn't know how much of an influence France would have had, but not mm -hmm. much. Huh? No, no. <laughs> You want to hold your tube directly above so that you can keep them round. And technique is everything, right? Yes. Yes. Oh my It looks like Hershey's kisses. Yeah, they do. Gail did say it, it was it looks like making great big chocolate chips. And I'm holding my breath. I don't know why. <laughs> I want them to turn out so well. Sounds like everybody's holding their breath. Yes. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just looking around at all these faces and being so grateful everybody's here today. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to keep the drool in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty? For all of us. <laughs> Dusty, when you were a baker, did you ever make anything this fancy? Yeah, we made chocolate and macaroons all the time. Yeah, that's what I thought they were going to be is coconut macaroons, but I think these are a little different. Oh, absolutely. Chocolate. Yeah. And the sandwich cookie, which is d difficult to make. Yes. Patrick, I think you're on mute right now. If you want to take yourself off mute, have you ever been much of a baker? And you can put your... Uh, Take your button off me. There you go. Okay. Um, no, uh, I know how to press buttons on a microwave and use a telephone. That's about it. <laughs> um, how do we get the recipe? I'm on YouTube and I um, was looking to see if there's any way to get the recipe. The first couple of shots we had here. Um, I will actually send out the recipe so that you'll have the recipe. I'll send that out. Okay, okay. so now comes All the right. with your cookies. 
Is that what you're Actually, saying, Gail? The recipe will be with the, the cookie? No, I'll have to send it separately. I didn't get it printed to do that. That's a great idea, though. I should do that. Okay, so now we have the tray of the cookies. Oh, those are beautiful. But now comes the real technical part. Are you ready? And yeah. it's going to be loud. So the first thing you have to do is pound the cookie sheet on the counter. Okay. So last night, I was doing these after my husband went to bed. I'll be right I back. want to be too loud. Coming. We can't hear it, Gail. So <laughs> I'm pounding the cookie sheet on the counter to spread them. Well. So last night I put these underneath it so it wouldn't be so loud when I was doing my pounding. <laughs> mm. So now the next stage is you either need a toothpick <clears throat> or you need to dip your finger in water and you have to look at all the little um, cookies and pop all the bubbles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Because if you don't, you'll have hollow spots in your cookies. Hmm. So, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. Let me find one. There's one. There would have been a great big hole in that cookie if I didn't pop all the bubbles. Hmm. Huh. That's fascinating. Hmm. Surprised. You have to do this several times. What did you say, Myra? I'm surprised just pounding it down didn't take the bubbles out. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, they said beat these egg whites really stiff. Let's see if yeah. you can see this one. So you're saying yeah, that there was a, made a big egg. hole? It made a hole right there? I mm -hmm. see that. I wonder how they do it in a factory when they bake all those cookies for custom. I do not know. <laughs> Because I can't imagine that they have people standing around like Lucy and <laughs> Ethel. I can't <laughs> <know they can. laughs> That's one of my favorite I Love Lucy shows. It is a fun one. Although you know, you know before it gets there that they're both going to get sick, right? Right. <laughs> Too much chocolate candy. Okay, so now I'm almost done popping the bubbles on these. And we're gonna pound it on the counter again. And that's, this is the other reason why you don't wanna make them too big to start with, because the pounding is spreading them out more. So now I'm gonna do that again. Wow. And it's funny how more little bubbles pop up when you do that. What did you say, Dusty? It's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the professional baker. <laughs> I don't know um, why, but I did not inherit the baking gene. <laughs> Well, I talked to my sisters this morning and I have a sister who really doesn't like being in the kitchen too much. And she says, that's too much work. Why didn't you just go buy them? <laughs> <laughs> I like looking at all your paintings on the wall, Don. Oh, do you? Thank you. I love that. It's a nice backdrop. Thank you. Found another big hole. It's really amazing. Your camera has great noise canceling. That's we great. Audio. I can't believe y'all can't hear that. We hear the first one and then no more. And we hear when you turn the mixer on, but then it immediately goes silent. That's pretty neat. Now, there's an important reason why we have to pop all these bubbles, because if we don't, it'll cause the cookie to crack when we bake it. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'll be able to show you an example of what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I think we're just about there. While you're popping the bubbles, will you give us a little preview of what is going to go in the middle of the two cookies? Uh, we're gonna get to that in just a minute. I'm just so excited. <laughs> okay, so now these have to rest for more than 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Because it has to dry and form the hard shell on the top of the cookie, the top of the batter, to keep it from exploding and cracking when you bake it. Okay. Hmm. I guess it won't run either then. It doesn't run. It forms a, a shell. Does any of you who were with us before um, recall when we did the um, chocolate crinkle cookies? Yep. They were chocolate and we rolled them in granulated sugar and then right. powdered sugar. Yep. And the granulated sugar caused it to form a shell. So it gave it just a little bit of crisp when you bit into the cookie. This kind of does the same thing. But the allowing this to dry forms that outer shell on the macaroon that makes them look the way they do. Because I, I was always curious how they got it to look that way. But it feels like you can just keep standing here popping bubbles all day long. <laughs> okay, so these are ready. So I'm going to sit them over to rest. And this batch has been resting since right before we started our program. Okay. So they have to rest until when you touch it, it doesn't make any kind of impression. Mm -hmm. We're going to give this just a few more minutes because I don't want to put them in too early. And we're going to move on to the next step of the recipe. Okay. The filling, the filling, woo! <laughs> okay, so this is a batch that I just baked this morning. How pretty. Now, can you see right here? Yep, this is mm -hmm. the one. Four cracked. Hmm. I'll eat just the put them part. on the bottom. Put them on the bottom. <laughs> That's right. That's not bad. That's right. We don't need to. We don't care. Okay, so. Um, the tech or the uh, language used in this recipe is very strange because can you all see the lift mm -hmm. yeah. on the cookie? Yeah. They call yes. that the feet. The feet. <laughs> Why? I don't know. The feet. <laughs> but it has to form that shell so that when it bakes, it will develop the feet. Huh. Isn't that strange? It is strange, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's flat on the bottom, but it has that dome shape. And these do mm -hmm. look almost perfect, I do have they to say. They look beautiful. They do. Now, I'm going to show you. So now, let me get out of the bag. Nice wallpaper. <laughs> What's that, Dusty? Nice wallpaper. <laughs> that was, that was somebody else. No. Okay, so now I have ganache chocolate. Ooh. Oh, oh my bag. Oh, it was. And so this is um, dark chocolate <coughs> and cream and a little bit of vanilla melted. And so what we're going to do uh -oh. is fill the cookie gently but not overfill it. And it says that you want your ganache to be about the consistency of peanut butter. <laughs> and then you look for one that's the same size because they're not all exactly the same size. They're pretty close. So you look for one that matches and sandwich it together. That's oh, so um, Oh, yeah. 
Okay. So now I'll show you. This is the first batch that I made. And you can see it cracked and the color is not uniform. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? No, it doesn't matter. No. Okay, look at the, can you see the difference now? Okay. Yes, I can see that, yes. Mm. Oh, wow. And why is that, Gail? Did you not stir it uh, completely? Well, I didn't let these rest mm. the full amount of time. <laughs> this batch that we just sandwiched together, I let these rest for a full hour. Hmm. So this morning, as soon as my husband left for work, I stirred up a batch of the batter so hmm. it could rest for an hour so I could bake it just before time for the program. My goodness. And then this was the second batch that I did last night. These are this one's a little bit smaller. <coughs> they did better, but they still weren't completely uniform in color. And they're just a little bit smaller than the ones that we just did. So, so Gail, what's the difference in taste? There's not really any difference in the taste. It's just appearance then. Now, there might be a difference in the texture whenever you um, oh, okay. go to eat it. The other thing you can see is, do you see the difference there? Oh, yes. You yes. see how much bigger the feet are on this cookie? Yes. Yes. On this one? yes. So this is the one that rested longer. Oh, okay. Ah. And now the one that we just made, again, <coughs> excuse me, comparing it to the one from last night. Wow. Even better. <clears throat> you just get better and better. And this is the one from this morning. Okay. Excellent. Great comparisons. So we just continue, continue to what they what they actually tell you to do. Can everybody see my cookie sheet? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Lift it up, hold it. Lift it up so you can see it. Is to, to match them up so that you have the same size ones together. I'm trying to also put the ones that have the same shape because some of them, I didn't hold my piping hmm. to directly above. <clears throat> it does make a difference, doesn't it? And I do believe you're too critical of yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> that, that's what the good chefs do though. They, they go, go for perfection. Yeah. Okay, so out of this batch, counting the one that I just did, There's 12. Yeah. Oh, all that work. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would be grateful to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Just melt in your mouth. Good. So now what I'm going to do is flip them over so that I'm <clears> going <throat> to be putting, I'm going to put the filling on one side. And we are going to use the ones that cracked. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Do you put the filling on the side with the side with the feet or are the feet on the outside? The feet are on both pieces. Uh, did they, does that go toward the middle where the ganache? The feet is? go towards the middle. Okay. So they should be round on the outside and flat on the inside. Right. Yeah. Ah. I'm so grateful for you, Gail. I'm shaking my head at how much work you put into this. Yes. And folks, usually by this time, she's made four or five batches of something. She'll make a batch and put it in the oven and show us what it's like at four minutes and six minutes. And, um, it, 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 and we'll be able to pop those others in the oven just before we finish. Okay. Mm. So you can see what they start to do. Uh, information that I read also said that they're actually better than the second day. Oh. Hmm. 
So the, the we'll, age. We'll never know at this house. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will. They get here, they'll, 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 they've been aged two days, so that's okay. Yeah. We will right. get them aged before they come here. <laughs> right. So I just hope that the temperature stays cool so that your chocolate doesn't run out. Yeah. Ooh. It should be okay. Mm -hmm. It would be fine. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to continue. My piping bag is not wanting to work good. I must have a lump in my chocolate. Oh, no. Oh, no. We'll have to whip that into shape. Do they suggest eating these with coffee or with milk? What are What do you pair it with? I don't know. What would you all say? Chocolate um, milk. <laughs> I, I say chocolate eat it milk? with my mouth. <laughs> This job's a little messy. Uh, yes. oh. okay. You're washable. These are so delicate. I probably wouldn't want to put any liquid next to them. Um, just going to melt in your mouth. That's right. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. I, I can see though. I can see uh, taking a bite of one of these and have a little sip of tea or tea. something like that. Mm -hmm. well, my good. family would say that they call for a glass of milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I see that Pat has joined us. Pat, it's so nice to have you with us for Cookie Conversations. Isn't that and nice that she you. joined us? We have two Pats with us today. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to split this open so you can see what the inside of it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's it's a it's kind of has a gooey, um, how do I want to say? Um, trying to think what I could compare it to. It's not like an Oreo cookie, mm, no. although it's chocolate. Let's see, Aww. and it's not as thick as peanut Aww. butter. It, it looks more like brownie. It kind of ha has that same, when a brownie gets that shell over the top, mm -hmm. that cracks sometimes, that's kind of what it reminds you of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. in our session at 1130, we will be filling the chocolate ones with white chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, fun. So, but it is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I've got to figure out what's going on with my piping bag. Uh-oh. We love you, piping bag. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to abandon the piping bag. Patrick, was your lunch good? Use a new one. I'm hard of hearing. What kind of bag is that? A pipe it's a bag. it's a like a cake decorating bag. A, I'm <laughs> What's the a, name? A piping bag for piping frosting. Pipe P I P E. I'm yes. gonna put it in the chat. Yes. 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 Okay. The grandpad can't see the chat. Oh, okay. Sorry. P I P I N G. Thank you, Tia. You're welcome. It's like the piping on a pillow, the little, the tube looking thing, I guess. Oh, so, so uh, Gail, have you just removed the uh, nozzle from that? Yes, I took the nozzle off because it was okay. clogging up for some reason. Mm -hmm. So now I was able to finish filling the rest of these. It's a lot <laughs> of work. It is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And then you, said think that, you have a whole bunch of cookies, but when you stack them, you got half of what you started with. Right. <laughs> so Meyer said they look like a bunch of mini chocolate hamburgers. Mm, they do. <laughs> You're making baby sliders. <laughs> yes. Okay, now you can really see. Oh yeah. Oh. And this is one of the ones that didn't stay that didn't rest. <laughs> My goodness. And then. The other ones, there's a little bit of difference in the coloration, 
on the top of them. Mm -hmm. okay. So oh. as is our tradition, let me wash my hand and we're going to take a ride across the kitchen. Oh, so you excellent. Can see what those resting cookies are looking like before we pop them in the oven. But let okay. me wash my hands first. I was kind of hoping we'd get a ride across the kitchen because that's one of Gail's favorite things for us to do. <laughs> I'm thrilled that you all joined us today. This is the most people we've had on our program in a long time. And there's no wonder why, right? <laughs> right. All right. So here we go. Uh, let me unplug my power cord so I don't jerk the computer off the table. Oh, please don't do that. How all many, right, are so Martha? How many in total are we today? Across the kitchen we go. So you can see there on the table. I have the oh. preparations for the boxes to be mailed, ready to go. All right. Wow. Go get it. More efficient. 11 plus the staff. You are Ooh. amazing, Gail. Isn't she? Thank you, Yetta. Okay, so these are the ones that I set to rest before you joined me. Okay. Ooh. So they've been resting about an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and pop them in the oven, and we'll be taking them out when we after we start the 11.30 program. How long does it have to take? For 14 minutes. 14 minutes, thank you. And what and degree? Uh, 320. 320, okay. Oh, that's specific. I think it said 325, but I lowered it just a little bit because I didn't want to burn them. And thank then you. our other set that's resting, it oh. looks like we have a few bubbles. Can you see them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it looks like I need to get my toothpick back out. That's the job I want. I want to be the bubble popper for macaroons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's your job today in the factory? You're the bubble popper. You're the popper, bubble yes. popper. <laughs> But the problem is if you pop the bubbles too late, they're already starting to form their shell. Yeah. And so I don't know exactly what that will do. But on the video that I watched, it explained that if you don't pop the bubbles and let them rest so that this shell can be hard enough, mm -hmm. that they'll explode and they won't develop the feet. Mm. And I Rolling guess that's sandwich. one of the signature things of this cookie. Right. Don, you can be the bubble popper. I will be the one that licks the bowls. <laughs> oh, okay. You'll lick the you lick the bowl in the in the mixer in the mixer thing, right? Yes. Beaters. The beaters. Okay. So I hope everybody <laughs> likes chocolate. Yep. And Not I will be actually. endeavoring to finish your boxes so that your boxes will go to the post office before 6 p.m. All right. Some All of you right. might get them tomorrow, and some of the some of you will probably get them on Saturday. Gail, you're magic, Good. and we thank yes, you so are. much. Thank so you it's so been much. So Gail. much fun, you know, on my computer screen, uh -huh. counting the screen where you where the iPad is, so you can see the mixer. My whole screen is full. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. great. We have eleven people and and three eleven participants and three staff. Wonderful. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And Gail. Yes. I just pulled it up on the computer to find out how they really pronounce this. Uh-huh. And I'm going to play it and see if you can hear it. Okay. Let's see. French macarons. Macarons. Macaron. 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 Almost like the president. Isn't his name Macron? Yes, That's it is. Good. And how beautifully you say it, Yetta. No kidding. Yes. Well, Gail, thank you so much. We're going to let you go and rest until <laughs> uh, in 15 minutes. I'll be on channel five. If you want to join us you. there. All right. Bye. Gail. All right. Bye, Bye, Gail. Y'all hang in here. I'll again. show you what's coming up. Oh, hasn't this been wonderful? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cookie conversations at 1030 and 1130 today. And at 1.30, we're going to do a flashback series. If you've done flashback before, um, I'm, I keep putting new pictures in so that it's never the same river twice. 
You can never put this, your foot in the same river. It's always a little bit different. So if you've done flashback, come on back. We're going to do some more. And then tomorrow, Friday, pets are practical with Kate and her dog, Jet, at 1030, 1130, and 130. Be there or be square. I hear that Kate and Jet are going to make some appearances at the in-person Fifth Street Cafe when it gets going again. So we're getting a, a pre-taste of what that's going to be like. All right. Anybody have anything they want to share before we say goodbye for, for the moment? The in-person event is next week. And you all should get an envelope in the mail today or tomorrow that gives you all the details, including the map of how to get there if you want to join us in person. Thank you. Gail. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. Well, everybody have a great day and enjoy your cookies when they come in the mail. I'll see Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Gail. Bye. 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 Bye.